Okay. Good morning, everybody. I'm doing some exploration in Pine Valley. Uh, we are so blessed to have a cabin up here. I came up here for the weekend for my birthday. And I want to go find some stuff in Pine Valley. I just bit a new top end in this not too long ago. It's only got about three or four hours on it since I did the top end. So I'm kind of trying to break it in. I'd be interested to hear some feedback from some other people on uh, top end break in. The guys at Rocky Mountain, which I'm sure I, they know what they're talking about, but they've always told me to, you know, like when you get a in top end done, you do like a break in period and, and do uh, like run it for 10 minutes or until it gets warm and then shut it down for 10 minutes, let it kind of cool off. And, uh, boy. Anyway, I'm watching Jeff Slavens on YouTube, and it sure seems like he knows what he's talking about. He says that the important thing is you just don't take it out and completely wrap it out, you know, just try to break it in a little bit. He can, says you can run it. I just don't want to go full throttle for a long time with it. So, I don't know, I'm kind of curious to see what the right way to do it is, if there is a right way, or I guess the best way. I was doing, I didn't turn on the camera right at first, I was doing a little bit of technical stuff right at first and got the engine kind of warmed up, so see if I can cool it down going up here get some speed up a little bit And uh, still got a bad habit of not gripping the bike with my knees as much as I should. Whoa! <laughs> There's a good example of going squirrely. And I was standing up too. Probably wasn't gripping the. It's quite ironic. I probably wasn't gripping the bike with my knees as much as I was supposed to. It's fun because there's a Baker Reservoir is really close to us, and uh, we went there yesterday. And so I didn't put all my gear on. I just put my swimsuit on and then put like my pants and jersey and boots on a helmet and. Just, I usually wear, I have Mobius knee braces, and I usually wear those, you know, all the time when I go riding. But it reminded me how much better I can grip the bike with my legs when I don't have those knee braces on. It's uh, pretty crazy how much of a difference it makes. But, I don't know. Just gotta get more used to gripping the bike with the knee braces, I guess. This is the first time I've done a top end myself. Kinda a little worried, because maybe I should stop and let it cool down, because it's not... Just, it's just into the red, and 
and it's not cooling down below that, so I don't know if I should stop and... I thought that the airflow on the radiator and the engine and stuff would cool it down. So far it's not. Let's keep going for a minute. If it gets any warmer, then I'll shut it down. The wild turkey. Slow down and let the engine cool off. It's not too much of the red, but I'll let it cool down. 